Welcome guys, this is Segif with Frontline Tactic, and today I want to be talking about some of the new Terraria patch update that's going to be coming out in early July, we're hoping July 1st, and I brought a guest. Hello, this is Divination. So, we're going to be talking about some of our experience uh, with Terraria, since we did, well, play Terraria together. We started a server, what was it, like two years ago? Yeah, something like that. Um... And we are, like, dying to a slime. This is terrible. It's alright, I just shanked it. So, the new patch that's coming out is version 1.2. I'm gonna build a house before it gets dark. And kind of our input on, like, some of the new biomes that we've seen so far, which they're expanding on the um, snow biomes, which, you know, I want to make myself an igloo for it. It's all about the cactus armor. And uh, Divination here wants to go for the desert. And that's one of the things we're going to do is when the new patch comes out, we're going to be doing co-op content together. Um, and probably the shenanigans and uh, tomfoolery that ensues afterwards. You mean during? Well, during, I suppose. That's true. But, like, so, well, I mean, you, met, you mentioned the desert. So one of the cool things that showed it was muddy water, which in a crafting idea that opens up like do you have to filter the water or we'll see that I don't I don't know on like how big is the world gonna be going because they're saying like overhauls and stuff like that so they're gonna have you know rain clouds and stuff like that so are you gonna be slowed more than normal water when you go through the mud I don't know but see I was looking at it as more of like if you have muddy water, is muddy water going to be a specific component to, say, the potion making and the alchemy that's in the, already existing in the game? I don't know if it would go that far, but uh, I just don't know because there's already clay in the game, so what would muddy water in the desert else be used for if there's already clay? Be less... It, it, then it becomes a different solution where a clay is uh, uh, more water than dirt. Uh, muddy water is more water than dirt. I uh, guess. I mean, I can I can see how there might be some some stuff going, but I don't know. But yeah, I was just wondering if it's gonna turn into a um, a specific uh, uh, trade skill item. No, oh, the uh, the other one that I saw in the desert pick was the cannons. Yeah, the cannons is kind of neat, just because it's going to add a new aspect to PvP. I've never really done the... I don't know if you played on any other server or anything, but I never really played any of the PvP content or anything like that. But I could see how the, the cannons could actually be a huge benefit tool to, uh, say, like, the the goblin invasion. Well, that, uh, and the other thing I was uh, thinking was, as far as bosses go, it gives a huge leg up if you have, uh, like, I made arenas yeah. in order to take bosses. And so if you have a, a turret placed and you have one person that plays bait <laughs> and then another who's actually on turret duty and sits there and... That bird took an axe and lived. But, uh, no, the, uh, the turret, that way it adds a whole new level of what all can you provide as far as assist goes. It greatly increases, you know, it's a combat multiplier, if you will. True. That's if they make it so that the bosses can be harmed by it. It might be a PvP-only mechanic. And that's if, true. And if that's the case, then... I don't see us playing many, uh, building many cannons. And then uh, here I am being OCD about my, uh, my tunnels. Well, that's fine, but did you want a house? Did you want me to start making a house? Go for making a house. Alright. As uh, I mine away and start discussing things. So weather, that's another thing that's going to be added to the new biomes. So hopefully we can have blizzards for um, 
uh, the snow biome and uh, sandstones, maybe uh, for the desert biome. Well, I can only imagine how that would influence uh, combat. Uh, if you're going to actually have weather now, does that mean arrows no longer have a direct flight and a direct arc? Now they're influenced by the wind? That is a good point. I didn't even think about that. So, is it going to greatly either make or break combat? Or t your timing of combat. Like, hey, I'm going to go take on, you know... Well, if you're taking on the Eye of Cthulhu, and then you're trying to shoot arrows at it, and you get a wind gust, and all your arrows move to the left when he's directly above you, all arrows miss. Or, like, uh... Visibility. Well, see, that's just a pain. Because I know in low-light situations, in caves, it's already a pain. Yeah, imagine taking a boss where your screen turns white <laughs> or gray or, you know, brown because of... Yeah. I'm gonna make another time. We don't... That's the thing, is they've dubbed down the game quite a bit. Not, like, dubbed down, per se, but they've, um did certain things for the game to make it slightly um, manageable for new players where when we first started playing like there was monsters everywhere it's like surprise monsters yeah that was uh, that was kind of a wake-up call because you look at this game and you're like oh yeah it's a nice little fun little builder game and in the beginning when we first started playing there was just insane how much micromanaging there was and as far as when night came, it was truly a zombie survival. Oh, yeah, and that's... I mean, well, or like, not even zombie survival, I'm talking about, like, all the, um... The slimes. Like, I remember trying to build a house out of dirt, because that was the only material that I was able to get without getting something jumping on my face. <laughs> and, like, now it's like, I'm like, wow, I really need some slime, I can't make a torch. Yeah, actually, speaking of that, I only have three gels. Because I think we've only killed two slimes. <laughs> and, uh, you know, night's, like, right around the corner here. Yeah, I know, that's why I had to build another another tunnel so I could see where the hell I was going. Alright, we might be making a, a little shack just to weather the storm. That's, yeah, we'll have to see how badly, um... Oh, and that's another thing. How How is weather going to affect, say, uh... Uh, the large invasions like the zombies or the goblins uh, like a blood moon are there going to be new blood moon events if you will or uh, goblin armies to where because if they're going to bring the ice biome in does that mean that the winter content of uh, like Santa or whatever he was with his ice men is that going to be now a common event yeah because that previously only happened during what was that uh like during the november through like february or something like yeah that. the winter months yeah so is that going to be the the new thing where events like that always occur because you always have the biome yeah so santa's gonna march on your keep and <laughs> wreck your stuff right <laughs> santa's like i heard you were naughty and just comes in at you he's come to reclaim the gifts he gave which, I mean, yeah. Which, that's the home defenses and the cannons. That's going to be needed. What else? Uh, Which, I mean, you shouldn't ever be taking a cannon against Santa, but sometimes he asks for it. What about Santa from, like, uh, Futurama? The, the robot? Yeah, robot Santa. <laughs> yeah. Use a cannon on him. Mecha Santa. Let's see, what other trade skills would they, they showed have was... Um, well, now, here's one that I haven't heard anything on. They haven't mentioned anything. Are they are they going to increase the uh, uh, alchemy? Are they going to add in new plants? Hmm. I don't think I heard... I haven't heard anything on any new plants. Have you? No, I have not. Oh, there's a gel, though. I'm going to kill it so I can have... <laughs> I want to make a torch. Oh. Not going to be able to jump across that lake. 
Um, oh, you're not stuck, are you? Because zombies are about to come. No, no, I'm just trying to venture out a little bit. Man, have you ever heard of a door? Jesus, use it. Alright, so... I, there should be... Oh my gosh, they really made this game slower now. Um... <laughs> what do you mean, slower? Oh, as far as zombies and stuff like oh, that? Because yeah. I'm... This whole time, like, I've been trying to make this place and make it into a legit house and stuff like that. And I'm worried about, you know, stuff spawning and all that. But nothing's happening yet. Oh, thank you. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna mine slow. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Ah, uh, and that's the thing is they gave us the short sword now in the game. So I really haven't played. Here. Really, the last time I played. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. There See, we go. that's how teamwork's done, right there. Yeah, it is. That was awesome. Very suave. All right, so now I gotta figure out how to put a wall up here. Let's see what was mine. I. Oh dang! I got a pretty powerful pickaxe. Really? Yeah, I got agile copper pickaxe. Nine percent speed, three percent crit chance. I actually, I don't have anything magical. Like it's not even negative. I, I, they're just all normal. Oh. Huh. I got a, I got a normal start, which actually isn't too bad. The. uh... What was that? So, this whole thing about the cactus armor, I'm actually kind of surprised, because so far in the game, cacti have been ultimately useless. Well, you're able to make some thorn potions, and yeah, now, uh, what was, uh, you can't just make a cactus armor, you can actually make buildings out of cactus and furniture out of cactus now, like cactus is now a, a viable resource uh, across multiple spectrums of the game. How many torches do I need to make a forge? Is it five? I think you just need... Oh, I can't remember. Where's oh. the guide at? <laughs> I don't know. I know we all hate the guide, and so many people are like, I hate the guide, until oh, you're like, I go. can't remember how to make something. Yep, I just needed three, and I've got a forge. Cool. Alright. I think the biggest problem we're going to have is making an anvil, because we haven't found any iron yet. Um, I've got some iron. Oh, do you really? Yeah, I mined it down at the bottom of the hill. But it is still not enough to make an anvil. Gotcha. So... You must dig faster. So... What else is going on? Um... Oh, slopes. Like, how is that going to change the gameplay? Well, it's going to make it smoother, especially, like, if you smooth everything out, like, uh, the wall of flesh, uh... If you've ever taken him the wall of flesh where it moves from one side of your screen to the other side uh, slope terrain is going to make it so much easier to run and gun from him true but on the same point there might be a new mechanic for um say like indiana jones style balls you know rolling boulders rolling down cliffs and stuff so, yeah, that's what I was wondering about. <laughs> it's like Night at the Roxbury. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh. ball! Ah, shit! Well. Sorry, I just had a torch. Not even a lens. Yeah, it sucks. So you say there's a ridiculous cliff on the other side? On uh, both sides, actually. We have a gigantic cliff and a body, a pretty good sized body of water on uh, both ends. So apparently I need to make a second door. But yeah, I think slopes is going to change the gameplay, especially how water works. If there's going to be rain clouds, so like now that makes me wonder, is rain going to cause certain blocks to slope? Like, say, dirt and mud. Well, here's the other thing. Now do I have to put a slope on either side of my uh, uh, tunnel? That way my tunnel doesn't flood? Oh, it's true. We're going to have to possibly, like, we'll have to think about, like, 
when we when we do our ridiculous mining. We're gonna have to do uh, drainage. Well, drainage, but are we also gonna have to do like manhole covers on the top? That way, it'll it'll uh, keep it dry. Keep it dry from. We got to put a cover or a lid. Now, if they put in a door mechanic, like uh, a, a horizontal door mechanic, I would appreciate that. That is true. Which, uh, I don't know if there's anything like that in uh, engineering. I didn't. As, as I never really I got know, very far into engineering. Because that's like towards the end when I, I, I quit playing. Was I did find the engineer, but I never took the time to do any no, of it. No, once the engineer comes, or, or are you talking about like the... Sort of the electrician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you get the, the wrench and you can start... Uh, Doing the red wires. Yeah. Yeah. That, uh, that's basically all just wiring and stuff like that. It's nothing... Nothing too mechanical. Okay. But I think they, I think she's called the engineer. That's why I called it the engineer. Mm. I think they're given different names each time they load. But Well, yeah, they're given like certain names. Coming right at you. Yeah, here, bada bada. Yeah, this is a lot slower start than I remember first time playing Terraria. Like, I remember just, like, basically making a little mud hole. It, wasn't there difficulties now? I can't remember. Uh, I think it's when you... First make the character? Yeah, you choose your character, and that's where you get to choose your difficulty. But so, how does that work in multiplayer? Which, I don't know. I never did too much multiplayer. But I, I will say, though, speaking of that, since you brought that up, uh, they're mentioning that they're going to overhaul the character creation in 1.2. How Overhaul in what sense do you saying? I, uh, they haven't released that. So are, does that mean they're going to add in, say, like, RPG stat style? Or are they going to add in... Well, they've had that in the past, where it's like you have your, your combined defense out at the bottom, and when you do make your armor... It will tell you what stats and stuff that you've made. But I mean, are they gonna actually like add in like classes? Are you gonna have your ranger class to be a an archer to have a better bonus with bows or something? Like I don't that? think they're gonna go class. Um, I think they're gonna still stick with the items that you find. Just sort of the jack of all trades. Mm-hmm. But another thing is, like, all the new content and stuff like that, and, say, the, the manufacturing of the different items, is it going to be accessible pre-hardcore? I'm not sure. Uh, especially if you're referring to, like, should is there going to be more content to access if you, if you just... Uh, if you want to see more before you destroy the wall of flesh or something like that. Well, I'm just wondering if certain recipes are going to be open to you. Like, say say the cactus armor, all right? Mm -hmm. The cactus armor. Like, is part of the recipe going to be, say, fairy dust? Because if that's the case, then that means that's post-hardcore mode. Yeah, and it, it forces your hand to evolve the game. And I, I would assume that the, the, the benefit to having... Um, Cactus armor is it's probably not very good defense, but probably adds a thorn effect to yeah. uh, to damage taken. That makes sense. I'll give you, I'll give that one. But the other armor, because they mentioned, I think something about ice armor as well. Well, yeah, there's all a ton of cosmetic armors too. So when they were rambling off armors, I wasn't sure if they actually meant cosmetic or actual armor with stats. So that's gonna be something to see later on too. You uh, mm -hmm. you having any luck with uh, iron over there? I've not really found anything, but with the lack of like, I only have, I've 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 used up all my three torches, basically. <laughs> only had uh, only got enough gel to make three torches. Okay. So that's why I was like, um, that's as far as we can see right now, and we're not really getting bombarded with zombies or undead or anything. I wonder if it has a uh. You know what I mean? If there's a mechanic for how old the server is. I wonder if it's done by, uh, um, you, you either... You see, I just gave you yeah. torches. All right. 
Well, no, I was just thinking, it's, I wonder if the progression of spawning, if it's linked to, like, how many hearts you have, or if it's linked to, like, you were saying, age of the server. It might be a combination of, because I remember in the original uh, servers that you made, and we'd join in, there was an insane amount of uh, oh what is that where it, it gauges the spawn by the amount of people on the server oh yeah like that was we'd have a sky full of like seven eyes and none of us had upgraded hearts or anything yeah I missed the old server. That was it was nice. The uh, that's actually my bad. I put that down there because I got stuck. <laughs> Started digging down there, and then I thought you had to be able to make. Uh... Oh, I need a hammer. That's why I was like, why am I not? Oh, you need a hammer? Here, let me make you one. You gave me all your all your wood. Oh, okay. Cool. Ah, uh, basic wooden hammer. You're terrible at crafting. <laughs> you know what? It works, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Uh, it says something about the water quality when you just come over to a lake and there's two dead goldfish. I know, right? Like, hmm. Places I may not want to be. Found a lot of stone. Apparently, Park Service isn't doing their job. Well. Let's see, is there anything else that we can really talk about other than just continuing to, to mine out and goof off? They were very vague in what they were putting out on the, the post. Oh, and, yeah, mini maps. I forgot about mini map. What'd they say about and there's going to be a map button, like you hit M. I think that's what it's talking about, about the character. It's not so much character creation, but character UI. Oh. And so we're going to have access to maps and things like that. And cool thing is the map is updated to the best best that you've seen it. So I, I saw a guy do a video on it where it was daylight, and it posted and it showed everything kind of in that pixelated, kind of zoomed out mode. while in um but then he waited till night and he ran across the across the fields so to speak and it was all black because that was the best of his ability to see it so running through an area in the dark oh slime <laughs> um running through you know a field in the <coughs> darkness is gonna let give you very limited uh viewing well, see, that also may come in with the weather changes then. Because yeah. then if you're having a sandstorm when it's the first time that you're going through a place, you won't learn it that it's, well. It just comes in, it just prints it out yellow. Yeah. So that's something that's going to make it a little bit easier. Which then, let's talk about a little bit about how... Let's see if we can get some viewer feedback on how they want us to do the new Terraria Contact 1.2. Like, do they want us to start with what we've gotten from this world, which is just a starter world? Or should we have, like, only, like, basic tools? Like, are we allowed to just, you know, do we have to make new characters? Like, just basically remake these characters and ha start fresh with the random few tools that we get? So that's something I would be interested in. Or what special rules do you think there should be? Um, well, I, w I would leave that up to what people say because uh, there might be a couple suggestions out there that might be a, a fun and challenging combination of well I think the hardest or the the most challenging would be to start fresh 100% yeah because I 
I know sometimes when I make a new world, I bring in a lot of this stuff from the other world because there's certain statues and things like that that you might not find in the new world you just made. And True. so, the, yeah, I agree. The hardest would be to just completely start a whole new world. Start with the three basic tools. But one of the other things I was wondering is, like, would it be okay for us to have a stack of wood and a stack of stone each or something like that? Because that would speed up just production in our, our content is if, like, the right faster the, bat, the faster we can make a house and start exactly, a, that's know, something make that, a, a home base, the faster we can explore the rest of the world And look for biomes, yeah. Yeah. Which, so, so that's my argument. But then again, it, I also don't know the new biomes... Like the ice one, are they going to be randomly generated? Do you have to cause an event to get them to spawn in your world? So, yeah. if it's randomly generated, we may have to make a couple worlds. To be able to get to see the content, yeah. Yeah. And we wouldn't know until we explore it on a decent ba bout. Exactly, which, at that point, we would have our characters decently made, at least enough to survive a corruption. Exactly, we may actually have a piece of armor or... Yeah. Because I'm sure it'd be kind of hard to constantly be making new worlds and pass through the surface and not grab iron that's sitting out on yeah. the surface as we walk. Right. It'd be hard not to grab it. Which actually, so far, this world seems to be pretty bunk. We're, we're stuck on an island. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on here. And a very tall, steep one with ridiculous cliffs on one side. I know. I, I, I don't know how we're supposed to... I mean... Are we going to tunnel? I mean, I don't think there's any other way to really do this effectively. Yeah. And that's probably why we're not seeing so many slimes and zombies, is we're on an island with huge lakes on either side. But I will say, the tunnel network's looking pretty good. Got my space and all... There we go. Got my space in back. Yeah, uh, ever since I saw someone do it this way, I absolutely have to do my mines this way. Otherwise, it just drives me bonkers. Mm, fair enough. I like right. it because as long as you have the right amount of lighting, you won't miss anything. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's, I mean, that's why I do this. I think we should probably finish up this first vid and kind of uh, hopefully get that we uh, get a little bit of player feedback on how we want to uh, um, do our matches or do not our matches but our uh, new content for the two one point two. Yeah. But I will put contact information below. Um, Divination doesn't have his own at the moment, but uh, if you have any feedback for him, uh, just message it through me, which I will have it in the description box below. And, yeah. Hopefully this will come out uh, July 1st. Sounds good. That was like anything. You want to add anything, dude? <laughs> uh, I, was, I was trying to figure out why you... Uh messed up your spacing on your platforms and I was getting focused, man. I didn't mess up my spacing. You messed up the spacing. I didn't mess up anything. Alright. Anyway, guys. I look forward to anything you guys have to put out. Any challenges you would like to see us uh, accomplish or you just have generalized feedback on what you think uh, the patch will hold. Alright, guys. Watch out for the floating eyes.